Not only does it have gingerbread men, it's also a craft. How fun. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Trying to get started a little bit early today. I pretty much took like the weekend off of filming, but we are back on it today. I've got several things on the to-do list that just need to get done just like around the house. So I thought we would tackle that today. So I made myself here a little to-do list. Today we need to get our workout in. I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I'm doing the sweat app post-pregnancy guide. And today's gonna be like a lower body and core type of session. And then we need to do a load of laundry, specifically like the baby clothes. Also need to unload the dishwasher and get that ready. If I can get this done earlier in the day, then the dirty dishes won't pile up and I can just put them directly in there throughout the day and then run it at night. That is always the goal. Doesn't always happen, but trying to make that like a habit. And then we need to trim the baby's nails so that he doesn't scratch his face. They literally grow so fast. Like I feel like I need to trim them like every week or so. <laughs> and then I actually need to restock the diaper bag because after yesterday's little blowout situation, we're like almost out of wipes in there. And then I'm actually planning to be out of the house tomorrow with him. So I wanna just like get that ready. I have some clean clothes that need to be folded. I'm thinking I'll probably do that while watching football tonight. <laughs> and then we need to go to Costco because my fridge is pretty empty and uh, yeah, it's time to get some things. So I'm thinking I'll just bring you guys along and uh, we can go shopping together. Finally made it to Costco even though it's like 5.30. I was hoping it's gonna be a little less busy but I don't think that really exists at Costco. So yes, I'm gonna get things that I have on my list and then we'll just take a look around. We have so many pretty little poinsettias, poinsettias? However you say that. Oh, a cute little like flocked holiday tree. Is that real? I think that's real. Oh, those are pretty. Those are cool, like little tumbler cups and they change color apparently with the liquid. There's so many cool like little thermoses here. That's cool. And like a two pack with straws. Ooh, and hydro flasks. Those are cute, that's such a pretty color. Okay, oh, I definitely need coffee. I'm gonna go for the breakfast blend, organic light roast. Oh, yeah, I'll get two, I'll get this one also. Oh, they have sous vide kits too. This one is the Anova one. We have the Jewel is what it's called and we really like ours. They're so cool if you are willing to put in the time to use them. You have to like vacuum seal it and then it cooks for a really long time, but the meat turns out really good. I think I'm gonna get a mixed pack of the Trulies. That sounds good. I don't know why I've seen like so many commercials for these lately. I guess their branding is working because I want some. Oh, these Aussie Bites are so good. Literally, they're so perfect for like a little snack if you need a little pick-me-up. They're like oats and all these different dried fruits and seeds. The sage killer bread is the best bread. It's our favorite to get this whole grains one and seeds. The good seed one is also good too, but I think we like this one the most. And it's such a good deal here. We get a two for $7.99. We're not gonna get some now because we're gonna be traveling and we'll be out of town next week. So I don't want it to like sit there and go bad. The Savardi cheese, the sliced cheese is like my favorite to get also. Again, I'm not gonna get any because we'll be traveling. Also love fresh mozzarella. These little snacking cheese things, so good. I'm gonna get like one package of ham. This uncured black forest ham is the one that I usually get. Oh, and we love prosciutto. Philip loves having these as like a little snack, so I think I'm gonna get this. These Rana raviolis, these are super good too. Highly recommend those. Of course, gonna get some more salad mix. I love these. I really like this Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit. And I think I'm also gonna get the sweet kale one. Oh my gosh, they have little cups of pomegranate seeds. Super good, but overpriced, I think. $5, I don't know. I think it's not too bad. Those are roasted garlic and Asiago chicken sausages. That sounds good. I like the ones from Trader Joe's a lot. Those are probably like my favorite, but I wanna try these out. This brand's like meatballs are really good too. This is new, I haven't seen this before. The kale and mozzarella chicken burgers. I've tried the, like the caramelized onion and something or other ones, and those are really good. We get some broccoli, frozen broccoli. There's, those are so good. We've eaten these before and they're super good. And we used to have like grass-fed burger patties. I don't know if they did away with them, but they're gone. They're not here. These are our favorite chicken nuggets ever. These are so good. 
I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I think I'm gonna try it. It's all their little like holiday sets. That's cute. The Starbucks ones. Ooh, a tower of chocolate. That sounds yummy. What's this? Paint by number 10? That's so cute. Not only does it have gingerbread men, it's also a craft. How fun. I feel like this is such a good deal. It's like a whole box or a whole tower of boxes. It's got all this in there. If you guys haven't tried these crackers, you need to. These are so good. Okay, back home now. I thought I would share with you the little Costco haul. I'm starting with the frozen stuff so that I can go ahead and put it away. These chicken nuggets, these are the best things. Seriously, I think these are like supposed to be kind of like a dupe for like the Chick-fil-A nuggets. And I think they're pretty close, honestly, but these are like the best ones because they're like actual chicken meat, you know? And then I got some frozen broccoli. Always like to have frozen broccoli on hand just for a quick vegetable and then i saw these uh, roasted garlic and asiago chicken sausages there which i thought sounded really good everything else that i've tried from this brand the amy lou has been really good so and then i also got some prosciutto and some black forest ham oh almost dropping that <laughs> and some ham and then i got two more of these salad kits because these are super good quick easy meal the sweet kale as well as this mediterranean crunch salad this one's super good. I really like this one. It's got like feta, little flatbread strips, uh, the balsamic vinaigrette that it comes with is really good. And then I got these Aussie Bites, super tasty. These are like rolled oats, dried apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, and more. All in like one little compact bite and they're super tasty. Those are really good for a quick snack when you're super hungry. It's so nice to just be able to grab a quick bite while you make your lunch, you know? <laughs> And then I needed some more teriyaki sauce, so I got this one, this Kinder's brand. Thought I would try this. And then I picked up some more milk fruit because I was all out. This is probably like my favorite out of all of the sweetener replacements. I prefer this over Stevia just because like it doesn't have like the aftertaste that Stevia does. And then I picked up some regular brown sugar as well. Planning to make some Christmas cookies soon, so I needed some of that. I decided to get this Kinder seasoning blend. This is the salt, pepper, and garlic blended all together. Yeah, I feel like those are just the go-to spices so you can just use one thing and just sprinkle it over everything basically and then i picked up some crackers for snacks i've got these sweet potato crackers which are so good if you haven't had these they're super tasty they've got three seeds flax seeds black sesame seeds and chia seeds they're really good with dips but also honestly just like by themselves as well as some of these almond flour sea salt crackers i mentioned this in another vlog but i found out that i really liked this one i think i honestly like these better than any of the other flavors that they have the rosemary or the cheese ones um these ones are just really good also just like on their own i got this little six pack of coconut milk cans uh, again these are just nice to have on hand these are great to have for making sauces curries even baking so i got that and then of course we had to get some almond milk so i've got the six pack of the unsweetened almond milk vanilla flavor. I also got a pack of the tomato sauce cans. Again, great to have on hand in your pantry for a quick sauce. And then I got some cake cups also, the medium roast organic coffee as well as the breakfast blend. And then this is a random thing that I saw that I thought would be really tasty to try. These are coconut almonds with dark chocolate. I guess it's like a dark chocolate covered almond. I'm gonna try one now live taste test of this. They're like little balls. Can you see that? Little round. Mmm. Wow. They're really good. You know what they taste like? They actually taste like, what's it called? An almond joy? It tastes like an almond joy, but it's like a little bite size. Mmm. Really good. Kind of sweet though. Definitely can't have too many of those because they're kind of sweet. Oh, I see. They're like, it's like an almond with coconut surrounding it and then covered in chocolate. And then I did also pick up another bag of rice. This one's a really good one. It's like a sushi rice. And then I showed this earlier, but I did also pick up that multi-pack of Truly. Honestly, just sounded really good. So this one has mango, wild berry, pineapple, and black cherry. All right, so that's all for the Costco haul. Sorry for the lighting in the kitchen. It's really harsh. But that is going to do it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And Christmas is